Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Coastal Daybreak here on the Talk Station, FM 107 and AM 1240. And we were excited to uh, read about this book. It's called A Warrior's Faith. And the author, Robert Vera, is with us telling a very important story. Robert, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. Where are you today? I'm actually in Santa Barbara, California. Oh, well, thanks for getting up at O-Dark 30, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, uh, let's talk about this. Uh, uh, you, you were attracted to this story. Tell us about the Navy SEAL that you write about. Well, the Navy SEAL's name, his name is Ryan Job, and um, he was the uh, subject of, or at least, Chris Kyle, who wrote American Sniper. Right. They were SEALs together, and Chris dedicated his book, American Sniper, to Ryan. Um, mm. Ryan and I were close friends, and um, I wanted to tell his story. It's an amazing story. Now, uh, well, first of all, I understand his nickname is Biggles. How'd that come about? Yeah, I mean, it was a curious nickname. I, I never called him Biggles. And it, <laughs> if you can imagine, in the SEAL teams, I mean, you know, there's a camaraderie there that, um, you know, there's uh, people apply nicknames to you there that you wouldn't necessarily like. Ryan, you know, if you looked at Ryan Job, you would not think that he was a Navy SEAL. And um, he just, he he wasn't the, you know, the athletic-looking stealth, you know, sort of, um, you know, that you would picture as a Navy SEAL. He he was absolutely a great athlete and, you know, you know, just a bull. I mean, he was strong as an ox, but, you know, look at him. He just wasn't, you know, the, the light athletic type that you would think a Navy SEAL was. So they gave him his SEAL team, nicknamed him Biggles. And, um, <laughs> and Ryan just took it in stride. I mean, he had a great sense of humor because he yeah. knew if he didn't like that nickname, right. I mean, it would... It would really it, stick then. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. So he, uh, he actually named his uh, machine gun Pickles. So it was Biggles and Pickles were going out on patrol. <laughs> All right. Well, now, now we have that. The subtitle, Navy SEAL Ryan uh, P uh, Biggles, Job, a life-changing firefight in the belief that transformed his life. So give us a little bit of the details of, about where he was serving. Yeah, if, uh, for those listening who have seen the movie or read the book, American Sniper, you'll know that Ryan Job was shot on a roof on August 2nd, 2006 mm -hmm. in Ramadi, Iraq. He was rendered um, completely blind. I mean, he he lost his eye during that incident. Um, uh, there was a sniper out there that, that um, Chris Kyle was on the roof with, with Ryan when it happened. And, um, you know, Ryan miraculously lived after being shot in the face by a sniper. He um, recovered from his wounds. He came back. He lived in, in Arizona. That's where I met him. He was married at the time. He was enrolled in school full-time. And the first day I met Ryan Job, <clears throat> he told us what happened to him on the roof. He showed us his prosthetic eye with his mm -hmm. um, pupil fashioned into a uh, Navy SEAL trident. And then he asked me, hey, I, I, I've heard you've done you know, Ironman triathlons. I'd love to do one of those. And I have an opportunity to climb Mount Rainier. Ah, wow. Wow, what what an outstanding attitude! Uh, yeah. You know, never quit. I just, you know, really just did not see himself as a victim. You know, when I finished, yeah. You know, by the way, he did summit Mount Rainier completely blind. Mm. I mean, just amazing things. Like one day he called me up and said, "Hey, you know, could you take me to the airport?" I said, "Sure." He gets in the car. I said, "Where are you going?" I said, "Elk hunting." <laughs> Elk hunting. <laughs> so I said, hey, "You know, you need to see him to hunt him." Right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he said, yeah, don't worry about that. And I said, you may not want to tell the other hunters that you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, well, or you may better, maybe you better tell them. <laughs> you, yeah, you so he, uh, two days later, he texted me a picture of a 980-pound elk that he melted with one shot. Yeah, as long as he wasn't going to hunting with the former vice president. That was probably right, okay. Right, exactly. Uh, let's, uh, the, uh, again, the book is called A Warrior's Faith. And, you know, you've all heard the saying, there's no atheist in a foxhole. But let's talk about his faith. Where uh, was the source of that, and, and, and uh, what kind of inspiration was it to him? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. You know, Ryan's faith, I mean, Ryan wasn't a Bible thumper. He lived the gospel every day. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to talk about it. And, you know, there's a Hebrews quote that says, faith is being sure of what you hope for and certain of what you cannot see. Right. And Ryan embodied that. I think what empowered Ryan the most is that he only had two things, faith and hard work. And he put his faith in a, you know, a loving God, and he just went to work. He let go of, of everything. He refused to be a victim. He overcame everything. And it's just an amazing story of how he was led by faith, and, and a faith that not many people really understand. Mm -hmm. Ryan Job, he invested in it full-time. He was all in. There was no safety net. He just relied on faith, and um, it was just amazing to watch the things that he accomplished with that. Uh, it, 
you know, literally we climbed mountains with faith. Mm. You know, one time we were hiking, and um, I guess my greatest prayer to God in my whole life has been, show me a sign so unmistakable that I can't confuse it with anything but you. Mm-hmm. And one day, I go to the top of this mountain with Ryan, we're coming back down, and we passed everybody. And they all start clapping on the way down because they can see that he's now blind. And I've got this guy named Job leading me down this <laughs> mountain, not by his huh. sight, but by his faith. And I said, well, if that's not an unmistakable sign, I don't know what is. Right, right. You, but, you have Job chapter 2 here. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, just the, the, the irony and, and the uncanniness of, of Ryan Job having faith like his namesake Job in the Bible. Mm-hmm. I mean, the parallels are, are really remarkable. But uh, he, he lived his life, uh, at least the time that I knew him, mm-hmm. you know, full of faith. Like, I don't think I've ever sort of seen anyone else except for the biblical Job. We wish we had a happier ending to this story. Yeah, I mean, it is tragic. And, you know, and I, and I write that it's perhaps more tragic than Chris's story. I mean, Ryan recovered from everything. Um, went into for some surgery, survived the surgery to repair the wounds of war, and then tragically a hospital in Arizona overdosed him, and he died. Mm. I mean, one of the most tragic things for me uh, about it is that um, I was there that morning. His wife called me, and I'm walking in the hospital, and I knew because the hospital staff was waiting for us outside, and I mm. just knew, mm. and no one knew but me that she was pregnant with her oh. first child. Oh, wow. You know, uh, we we had uh, Chris Kyle on this show and also uh, Jim D. Felice a couple of times with his uh, co-author and his books. Um, and uh, and now with this story, too, of Ryan Job, A Warrior's Faith, uh, their story, uh, thanks to you, Robert, Robert Vera and uh, Jim D. Felice, th- those stories uh, do live on. Uh, and, and again, much like the book of Job, uh, we will be able to draw from those stories. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I wrote the book to honor Ryan, the people that he knew and loved, and, and to say thank you to him, but also to inspire others to to see what a guy who is, you know, seemingly at the top of the food chain, I mean, a Navy SEAL, and then he has to ask me to take him to the men's room. He never once complained. I'll tell you real quickly, my um, publisher asked me, um, the editor, to, I got the manuscript, you know, can you tell me? Seems like he never complained. I mean, did he ever bemoan the no. fact that he was blind? Hmm. And I, I didn't want to answer right away, so I thought about it, and I called back and said, look, I have to tell you, Ryan Job never complained to me about being blind. In fact, quite the opposite. What he did, one time he said he was thankful that he was the one that was shot, that he was the one who was on the roof that took the bullet because he could take it, that he was grateful for all the opportunities that came to him despite his blindness. Hmm. I mean, just an amazing attitude. Of, uh, uh, Ryan refused to be a victim. Refused. He he would not wear the label of blindness. I mean, it's just an incredible story of perseverance, of faith, and I wanted people to know who this guy was. And you know, look, I, I think that you know, if 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 I or anybody could emulate, you know, what Ryan Joke did, I mean, we'd be much better people. Now, did did he get married before or after that? After. After. His wife wow. married him, knowing he was blind, and she married him afterwards. Hmm. I mean, she saw. That, that what, what I saw and what the SEAL team saw, she, she saw the Ryan Job that, that, you know, really mattered. Now, how is she and the, the, and the child now? They're, they're doing great. I mean, they're doing great. There's been a fabric of support that has come to her side, and, you know, the SEAL mm-hmm. community and others who have, who have done, you know, come to her side. And, you know, five years on, that uh, you know, his daughter's growing, and, you know, they're, they're doing great. We hear some what I think is unconscionable criticism uh, you know, of American sniper, kind of a snipers in general. Uh, and, uh, and then by extension, I think sometimes these people who do the jobs that we won't, uh, like the Navy SEALs, you know, that if you want to talk about jobs that we won't do that, that's it. Uh, and, uh, so you have helped to draw a clearer picture of uh, what courage really is with a uh, gentleman like Ryan Joe, but the book is called a warrior's faith by Robert Vera. Uh, and is this out and available everywhere now? It, it's um, it's out on Amazon right now. It can pre-purchase. In fact, I'm I'm surprised, and it's a credit to Ryan that it's. I mean, people have honored him to make it number one in its category, or at least number one new release in its category. So it's available on Amazon. It actually releases on March the third. Okay, well, excellent. Uh, we will keep uh, keep track of that. And again, uh, uh, Robert, thank you for joining us and telling your story and his story. We yeah, I really appreciate it. And for all the veterans listening out there, on behalf of myself and my family, I want to say thank you for your service. To Amen all to you. that. 
All right. Uh, this is the Coastal Daybreak here on the talk station, FM 107 and AM 1240. We'll have more to come in just a moment. A little short uh, snippet coming up, and then we'll also have uh, folks from the Star Team to join us. 